शारदे माँ हे शारदे
Honorable Guruji and all the dignitaries, staff and students from all the schools. Today we have gathered here to celebrate a day of great significance, a day that marks the spirit of freedom and unity, our Independence Day. On this day we commemorate the sacrifices made by our freedom fighters and the journey of our own nation towards independence. We are privileged to be living in a free nation and today we express our gratitude and pride for this freedom. Let's begin today's occasion of 78th Independence Day by hoisting our na national flag. I request our Pooja Guruji and all the dignitaries present on the stage to hoist the flag. Everybody rise up. Please be seated. Thank <laughs> you. 
Today, as we gather to celebrate Independence Day, we are reminded of the extraordinary sacrifices made by countless individuals who fought for our freedom. It is a day to reflect on the courage, resilience and unity that brought us together as a nation. Our freedom wasn't given to us. It was earned through struggle, determination and, a, and an unwavering belief in the idea of a free and sovereign nation. As the program begins, I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. N. K. Manjunath, to deliver the welcome address. <laughs> Namaskar and good morning to everyone. We are all here to commemorate the 78th Independence Day celebrations. We know the journey was not as simple as uh, we cannot visualize today sitting here. Celebrating it is a special moment where those memories of the sacrifices made by so many individuals for close to 150 years has to be remembered. Esviasa is a very specialized university, started as an exclusive yoga university, has expanded its arms into multiple other dimensions and disciplines of integrative medicine today and further extending into various other disciplines hoping that we have to bring in that kind of a change which is needed to bring in an independence to an individual not just outside but also inside to celebrate this special day we have with us several dignitaries. It's my privilege welcoming all the dignitaries who have assembled here. The theme for this year is Vikasit Bharat. We all know that we are used to these terminologies, okay, developing nation. And when will we become developed nation? Thanks to our Honorable Prime Minister who gave this call that India will be a developed country by 2047. That is the day when we reach our 100 years of independence. There is no reason for us to say that we have to wait till uh, 2047 to become developed nation. To become a developed nation, the contribution of every individual matters. Guruji, who is the force behind this organization, the visionary behind this organization, the founder of Vyasa Vivekananda Yoga Anusandhan Samsthana, the founder of Yes Vyasa, which is a deemed to be university, Swami Vivekananda Yoga Anusandhan Samsthana, and of course the founder of many other organizations with a greatest vision in mind that we need to really bring in a transformation, transformation in the nation, transformation in the world. The transformation can come only when we bring in a change in an individual. That change or the transformation is the goal of this organization. Except for Guruji, who has created this amazing vision for us, we wouldn't have been here today celebrating this great day. It's my privilege with humble pranams, I welcome our Pooja Guruji, Dr. H.R. Nagendraji for today's celebrations. <laughs> Guruji also has created a vision of integrative medicine as the future of medicine. We have a chief guest, Dr. Satinder Singh Minhas, who is the Vice Chancellor. Dr. Satinder Singh Minhas uh, is a medical doctor by profession. 
Just before uh, giving further introduction about our chief guest, let me bring it to the attention of our chief guest that, sir, we have the best of the combination what you can expect for medicine sitting here today. We have the students of naturopathic medicine. We have the students of Ayurvedic medicine. We have the students of nursing. We also have the students of physiotherapy. And of course, representing various other disciplines. Guruji and his sister, Dr. Nagaratna, they have created this vision for the country that we need to really bring in this kind of an in integration which is going to avoid those limitations of modern medicine today and strengthen modern medicine rather than telling we never create an alternative system of medicine. We always promote complementary and integrative system of medicine. So with that vision, this institution is growing and we are privileged to have you here today as a very renowned personality from the medical fraternity representing allopathic system of medicine but I was also told that you are also a very strong uh, promoter of integrative medicine. For the benefit of the audience here today, Dr. Satinda Singh Minhas is the Vice Chancellor of Maharshi Markandeshwar University. Uh, he has uh, done his uh, MBBS and uh, of course MS in General Surgery from PGI Chandigarh. For your information, uh, uh, Dr. Satinda Singh has completed his MBBS in 1976. And of course, uh, uh, his surgery, PG, comes in 1982. So that talks for the vast experience with which our chief guest comes here today. And uh, he is a member of various associations which create guidelines, which create regulations for the practice of medicine. Some of them to mention here, he is the life member of Association of Surgeons of India, President of the Association of Surgeons of India from 2011 to 12. He is also the life member of Indian Association of Surgical Gastroenterology. He is also a Rotarian. He is uh, the member of Rotary Club of Shimla and he was the president of Rotary Club of Shimla from 2006 to 2007 and uh, he is also the member board of management at Atal Medical University in Sundarnagar. Sir has uh, uh, his interest spread across clinical practice, research, education, academics and of course outreach. So he has multiple publications in various journals indexed in international bibliographic databases. And uh, he is a very known personality. Uh, most of the medical conferences if you go, uh, you will get to see our chief guest as uh, one of the keynote speakers in several uh, plenary sessions which are uh, meant for uh, those individuals who have contributed extraordinarily in their field. Sir, this is our privilege to have, have you here today. Guruji <laughs> always thinks that whenever we have programs of this nature, uh, rather than inviting uh, people who probably uh, can contribute in several ways, but Guruji believes that we need to have people who can actually inspire our students, who can inspire our faculty and all the people assembled uh, over here. So today it's our privilege to have uh, such an eminent personality of our chief guest. You can also see uh, those uh, individuals who have contributed to the institution in an 
extraordinary way uh, are assembled over here starting from uh, our own uh, uh, advisor to our honorable chancellor dr subramanyam ji professor subramanyam ji also treated as uh, uh, a bishma pitamaha in the campus uh, the eldest of the campus as uh, our uh, subramanyam ji says to be here all of you have heard about uh, subramanyam ji and uh, you have heard him speaking to you at several occasions so if you want uh, another swami vivekananda to come and speak you will have uh, in him uh, the same rigor and the voice with which he can talk if you want another bhagat singh to come and talk you will have uh, subramanyam ji doing it for us if you want another subhash chandra bose ji to talk you will also have uh, subramanyam ji doing it for us privilege sir having you over here we have another senior personality who have contributed to the growth of this institution extensively is our raghuram ji raghuram ji is uh, somebody who has uh, contributed not only to the field of yoga but also to the field of spirituality many times people ask uh, that uh, raghuram ji he is not visible uh, in couple of programs uh, that should give you an indication that raghuram ji is more present in abroad rather than in india so he has uh, uh, contributed for the spread of yoga in an extensive way in america and also in several other countries including europe so uh, it's also a blessing to have raghuram ji here in india uh, during this independence day welcome you welcome to you raghuram ji we have our uh, uh, pro vice chancellor dr mk shridhar who has contributed uh, to the field of sanskrit and to the field of spirituality earlier before uh, joining svyasa and uh, of course as the registrar of uh, svyasa earlier and presently as the dean of academics as well as uh, the pro vice chancellor uh dr mk shridhar is there i welcome you sir we have our registrar dr shivshankar sai uh, who is uh, the backbone of uh, anything we want to execute and uh, here uh, we are today welcoming our own registrar we have the principals uh, and directors principals of several uh, institutions who are all part of prashanti kutiram campus here dr alok rai who is the principal of the sushruta ayurveda medical college so if there is a voice coming uh, that means that uh, uh, dr alok rai students are here that doesn't mean that you need to create a precedence that when i call upon the next principals uh, there's a competition that other students have to really make some noise okay today is an independence day okay we allow you to do what you want to but within the domain within the norms of the university right okay we have uh, okay let me see we have our uh, the principal of the school of yogic sciences dr vikas rawat welcome to you dr vikas rawat we have uh, the principal of the school of yoga and naturopathic medicine dr apar saoji we have uh, dr prashant the principal of the school of physiotherapy we have dr parveen the principal of the school of nursing sushruta we have our deputy registrar dr vasudev vaidya and uh, we have uh, the controller of examination dr soni kumari we also have uh, two more guests who are here i don't call them as guests 
they are part of uh, SVASA family. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, Mr. Abod. Abod is uh, part of uh, Vyasa family for uh, close to three decades. He is from New Delhi. We have uh, uh, Kaushal, Kushal. Of course, thanks to uh, these people uh, who brought uh, the chief guest of the day. When we really wanted to have this celebration as uh, uh, big as possible, then uh, Guruji uh, had his style of uh, looking at people who can really uh, make this as a memorable day. And uh, thanks to all those guests who have assembled here today, uh, who are going to really make this day as memorable as possible. We know the theme is Vikasit Bharat. Let me take this opportunity just to add few words on how Yasvyasa has become a, a Vikasit University in the last uh, 22 years because uh, each individual can contribute to this theme of Vikasit Bharat. Our Prime Minister always says that when we sit and wait that something happens in the country, uh, then probably still happen, something will happen, but you need to wait for a long time. If you want to see a change during your time, then you have to contribute to it. And I am very happy to be part of this organization close to 30 years, where I have seen such a fantastic growth and progress in this organization. Much before we became a deemed to be university in 2002, Yasvyasa was known for research. So our name, Vivekananda Yoga Anusandhan Samsthana, used to talk for research. Anusandhana is research. 2002, is a very special milestone, but I always remember 1985. That's when the first ever research paper uh, was published from Vyasa in a journal called British Medical Journal by Guruji and Dr. Nagaratna Didi looking at the beneficial effects of yoga in the management of bronchial asthma. That's the standards what Guruji and Nagaratna Didi have set in for us to take it forward. Probably nobody has uh, uh, visualized that time that this small place would grow to an extent where it becomes a university. A national university will become a global university. And today, I am very proud to say that Svyasa has reached around 200 countries in the world Many of our students will be aware that we run a very special program sponsored by Ministry of uh, External Affairs called ITEC Yoga Instructor Certificate Program for which every, in every batch we would have students from around 15 to 25 countries. So we have been running it for a long time. So there is a short term program and of course we do have long term programs taking an individual uh, to a certificate to an undergraduation to master's and a PhD program. When we initiated this movement, uh, we thought that, okay, yoga requires a kind of an upliftment to identify its place in higher education. Today, yoga is an integral part of higher education. Our Honorable Prime Minister has made it very clear that when we really want to focus on Vikasit Bharat, we have to involve universities, we have to involve youth, we have to involve the students. So probably Svyasa's contribution to, in whichever way, small little way if you can say, to make Bharat a Vikasit Bharat, I should say we have a very strong uh, way and means of contributing to this to be remembered. Guruji has said that we probably will have uh, around uh, 
200 students when we initiated uh, this university. To the knowledge of our chief guest, let me mention that we started with as small as around 65 to 70 students. And today in this campus, we have around 1,600 students. We also have the Center for Open and Distance Learning. We have close to around 3,500 students in our code itself. We are adding another new campus in uh, Bengaluru city uh, that is within a tech park. So it is called the Satwa Global Tech Village in Mysore Road. So for the first time, SVSI is embarking on starting various other disciplines like engineering, management, commerce, and allied health sciences, including uh, clinical psychology, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, and of course, nursing. So that means Svyasa has certainly uh, progressed itself uh, in such a way that 20 years probably was uh, too shorter a period for an institution to grow in this nature. Let us give a big round of applause to our visionary Guruji who made it as a possibility. <laughs> Sir, our students uh, have uh, really contributed uh, in a way where uh, we probably recognize it as a very big contribution. Alumni of our uh, university are present, you probably name any major institution of medical sciences, our alumni are there heading either a yoga therapy department or uh, facilitating clinical services in integrative medicine. Today, you look at IITs, IIMs, or any other major institution of technology, there is an Indian knowledge system uh, department and invariably you see somebody from Svyasa over there. <coughs> it also makes me feel very proud that uh, whenever there is any interview called from any central university or any other place uh, where we have an opportunity to be part of the panel, the first thing what people say is that if there is a student from Svyasa, then probably uh, there is less chances for anybody else to get a job or a position because the reputation of this university is something like that. And I'm sure each one of you are going to live up to the expectations of this university whereby you can take the name and the prospects of this university to the greater world. So it is uh, my privilege as the vice chancellor of this university to be welcoming all the guests today for the first time and uh, I am very confident that this university is going to lead several other universities in the years to come and uh, a very small uh, good news to mention all of you that for the first time this university has spread its uh, arms to outside India and uh, uh, this will be the first place in the United States of America and based in, uni I mean, based in the state of Texas, we will be present in the place called Dallas uh, within another three months period. So this is where Yesvyasa will be present across the world in very uh, short time to come. So I welcome each one of you students, each one of you, the faculty members of various colleges and Yesvyasa University let us celebrate this day as an amazing day uh, to remember on one side that we are living in a beautiful country called Bharat. We see in the world what is happening, but we, should, we are blessed people to be in a country like Bharat and uh, led by a prime minister of uh, uh, stature of Narendra Modi ji and also Please be blessed that you are in a place called Yesvyasa University and led by Avapuja Guruji. Uh, we cannot ask anything more than that. 
So welcome all of you once again to this uh, great celebration. Thank you, sir. Thank you for reminding us the achievements and milestones set by our beloved Guruji and our esteemed institution. Asmin Shubhe Sandarbhe Karakramasya Asya Nirvignata Siddhyartham Vigna Nivayakam Vinayakam Nritya Purvakam Prarthaitum BNYS Nartakihi Vedikayam Asmin Ahoyami. Now, I request Professor K. Subramaniam, advisor to Honorable Chancellor S. Vyasa, to address the gathering. Oh. Esteemed friends, Today we are celebrating the Independence Day and the Founders Day. Vimukta Bharat and Vikasita Bharat. Long ago, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa described both the days in a parable and Swami Vivekananda followed it, tried to implement it. There is a motor boat. It is tied to a post. And it's getting tied to the post is the foreign yoke. For several decades, Britishers made us slaves. The boat of India was tied to the post of the British. The first thing to be done was to cut that foreign yoke, liberate the country, and our freedom fighters got us independence. That was not enough. To make India Vikasita Bharat, Vimukta Bharat alone was not sufficient. This motorboat was anchored. The foreign yoke was removed. And there was selfishness, there was egoism, there was possessiveness. These things were the anchor, allowing not the boat to proceed further. And the great freedom fighters like Subhash Chandra Bose, Bhagat Singh and others lifted that anchor of selfishness. Possessiveness, greed, grabbing tendency, and now that alone was not sufficient to make India a Vikasita Bharat. For a long time, the boat was in the harbor. It was left unused. Therefore, therefore there were several holes, holes of corruption, holes of dishonesty, holes of politics, 
mutual politics to destroy the country and the water was flowing in great leaders came like arabind ghosh gopal krishna gokhale sardar vallabhai patel and they stopped these holes of corruption they made us all men of integrity still the holes are slowly leaking some of them are already sealed and under the leadership of narendra modi ji we are getting the holes of corruption completely covered up completely patched up and the prevention of the water of corruption into the boat was stopped that was alone not sufficient the oil was absent diesel is not sufficient petrol was not full in the tank and that is uh, the essential aspect of this uh, need and that is the wisdom of this country the ancient wisdom of this country the splendor of this country the energy of this country the treasure house of this country and the yogic wisdom of this country unless this yogic wisdom is full in the tank of this motor boat it will not take off it will not become vikasit bharat founders like dr h r nagendra came they unearthed they brought out this fuel of ancient indian wisdom and now it is recognized narendra modi ji was the first to take this boat uh, on the right track 21st june was made the indian contribution to the world international day of yoga now the vikasita bharat is blossoming we already got the independence we already got the vimukta bharat now it is vikasita bharat and the time span is about 10, 10 years or 15 years swami vivekananda in every heart is triggering off that vikasita bharat he is inspiring everybody to go towards that vikasita bharat i am glad the founder of this university dr h r nagendra has instilled inspired ignited that vikasita bharat the ancient wisdom of this country is brought into the tank of our huge contribution now it is taking off i am very very happy today we are celebrating not only the independence day but the day of the founder founders day both the things are responsible for the vimukta bharat and vikasita bharat may we all contribute to the glory of this country hari om tat sat thank you very much now as i had introduced earlier the dance will begin
Thank you for the amazing performance, girls. I now request Raghuramji to address the gathering briefly. Namaste to all. We have a very happy 78th Independence Day celebrations. Independence is something which is given to the world by this culture itself. In fact, the level that we have given the thought of independence to the world is we have the highest purpose goal of life itself is called as the Vimukti or Boksha, which is actually this independence what we have is a part of, small little part of that Moksha. Let me give a very simple formula about this particular concept of Moksha the Indian philosophy has given. And uh, it is like this that when the vasanas die before we die, it is what is moksha. Whereas when we die before the vasanas die, that is what is mrityu. And when we go from mrityu to amrutatva, and that's what is the purpose of this whole life, this whole culture, this whole country. In fact, India has to have this freedom, Bharat has to have the freedom, not because for the sake of Bharat, as our Vice Chancellor has very beautifully put it, and the way that our Guruji has taken it across to the world, and more important thing is the way that that vision is carried by our none other than the Manmiya Mudiji. It is basically the idea is that the world needs this message. Whether India survives, it is because the world gets the benefit of it, and today, 78th, Independence Day that we are celebrating, it's not that we celebrate, but the whole world celebrates as a celebration of a small little journey towards that ultimate idea of freedom, mukti, or moksha. So once again, I'm so very happy. So many students are here. I'm really surprised to see that how this university has gone. You know, normally what happens is when we are walking across in the campus, we may not see so many of you, but after coming here, not only that you are all here, but the joy that I can see with which that you are participating on this national day called as the Independence Day. I'm very glad about that. I'm very happy about that. Wish you all the best. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. The spirit of patriotism shines brightest through music. To further ignite the spirit, let us listen to our students singing a patriotic song. Check. I'm not 
थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स फॉर रिमाइंडिंग अस द वैल्यूज दैट मेक आवर नेशन ग्रेट धीर भगीरथ वंशोस्माक वयम तो कृत निर्धारा वी आर ट्रूली ऑनर्ड टू हैव विथ अस टुडे अ डिस्टिंग्विश्ड इंडिविजुअल हुज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशंस एंड अचीवमेंट्स हैव सिग्निफिकेंटली इंपैक्टेड आवर कंट्री इट इज विथ अ ग्रेट प्लेजर दैट आई नाउ इनवाइट द चीफ स्पोक्स पर्सन डॉक्टर एस एस मिनहास वाइस चांसलर ऑफ महर्षि मार्कंडेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी सोलन हिमाचल प्रदेश थैंक यू सुपर आई फील प्राउड एंड प्रिवलेज दैट आई एम सेलिब्रेटिंग सेवेंटी एट इंडिपेंडेंस डे एट एस व्यासा यूनिवर्सिटी बेंगलुरु एट द आउटसेट आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक चांसलर पदम श्री गुरु जी डॉक्टर एच आर नगेंद्र जी फ्रॉम माई कोर्ट कोर ऑफ माई हार्ट डॉक्टर अबोध एंड डॉक्टर कौशल वर इंस्ट्रूमेंटल फॉर माई प्रेजेंस हेयर टूडे डॉक्टर नगेंद्र जी is a very learned man after doing his bachelor's in medical in, in mechanical engineering he did his phd he started his career as teacher at indian institute of science and has experience of working at nasa harvard university indian imperial college london and then he joined vivekanand kendra he became vice chancellor of s vyasa deemed university and then the chancellor and took this university to the international fame he has expertise in cyclic meditation which includes asana mantra chanting and meditation he is personal yoga consultant to honorable Pr- prime minister modi ji S Vyasa University is led by Vice Chancellor Manjunath ji a well known luminary yoga researcher and a naturopathy expert teacher Dr Nagratna ji chief arogya dham and registrar Dr Shiv Sai Shankar ji are leading this university we heard subramanian ji who is the advisor to guru ji he spoke very well about and gave a simile of the motor boat which has now started its journey in the chart towards the viksit bharat today we heard ragunath ji and we have the presence of dignitaries on the dais professor pro vice chancellor dr m k shridhar shridhar ji and the principals of different schools deans and the controller of examiner the statue of vivekanand swami vivekanand ji is great inspiration to all of us especially the students to guide his quote arise awake stop knit not till the goal is achieved is reached so arise awake stop not till the goal is reached is the guiding force and this quote i often quote in my college functions when i address the students I, and this quote can become a guiding force for all of us we have to take india to viksit bharat till 2047 and make bharat vishv guru the knowledge in our vedas upanishads and other religious body uh, books has stood the test of the time as far as health science is concerned as already introduced i am a surgeon 
and have done many big cancer surgeries, treated the patients with cancer drugs and radiation. What now I have realized and now I emphasize if we could prevent cancer, the answer lies in positive health. To check the growth of cancer cells and lot of research is going on in western countries also to how our body can itself fight the cancer cells and what are the mechanisms there they have already been defined and being strengthened by various means and yoga and meditation could be one of them rather is can play a great role in strengthening our body's internal systems to fight cancer cells at the various uh, at, at the initial stage so that can be the role the medical research has now recognized these internal systems the other health issues faced today are the cardiac diseases hypertension, diabetes, obesity, stress and psychological illnesses which can also be checked and treated by yoga and meditation. And for this region only, NEP that is National Education Policy 2020 has clearly indicated integrated medical system in which Indian medical system, yoga and meditation are the part. Rather, in MBBS student course, the latest by two, which is given in 2023, we have a at com course in which yoga and meditation forms the part. So, we are looking forward for an integrated system in which allopathy, Indian system of medicine, yoga and meditation can help the persons toward well-being, positive health and the show the focus is not only the treatment part of it, what to have a positive health and a system in the body which will prevent the diseases to occur. In the end, on the event of 78th Independence Day, I have to say to the student and the youth of our country to take Bharat, to Viksit Bharat by 2024 uh, 2047 and make Bharat Vishav Guru Dhanyavad Jai Hind Jai Bharat We are grateful for your inspirational words sir I request uh, Guruji and Honorable Vice Chancellor sir and other dignitaries to honor the guest Thank you, sir. Your words have truly captured the spirit of Independence Day. Your presence and insights <laughs> value to our celebration, and we are honored to have you with us. Thank you for taking the time to be part of this special occasion. As we gather today to celebrate the spirit of our nation, it is important to remember the values, struggles, and triumphs that have shaped our history. In honor of our great country and the countless individuals who have contributed to this legacy, we would like to share a song that embodies our pride and love we all feel for our free land. Check, check.
तलवारों पे सलवार दिए अंगारों में जिसम जलाया है तब जाके कहीं हमने सर पे ये केसरी रंग सजाया है मेरी जमी अफसोस नहीं जो तेरे लिए सो दर्द सहे महफूज रहे तेरी आन सदा चाहे जान मेरी रहे न रहे से निकल के खून कहे तेरी मिट्टी में मिल जावा बुल बन के मैं खिल जावा तेरी सी है दिल की तेरी नदियों में बह जावा तेरे खेतों में लह जावा तेरी सी है दिल की I now invite our esteemed Pro Vice Chancellor to the stage. We eagerly look forward to hear your thoughts and insights on this occasion, sir. Namaskar, Sabapati Bhascha, Honorable Chancellor of our Yashvesa Yoga Deemed to be University, Dr. H. R. Nagendra Ji, the founder of this university and the Honorable uh, uh, Chief Guest of today's function, uh, Dr. S. S. Minas Ji, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of the Maharshi Markandi University, Solo in Himachal Pradesh, very dynamic, energetic, witty uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. <coughs> Manjana Sharma Ji, all the Envy Raghuram Ji, the President of Yoga Bharati, all my colleagues, and also dear students. At the outset, <coughs> we pay our obeisance to the founders of this SVSA deemed to be university, headed by Honorable Chancellor Dr. H. R. Nagendra Ji, not just a visionary of India, but a global visionary. The global visionary will come to reality, which he has envisaged that by 2036, the Olympics should have the Yogasana sports as one of the disciplines. As a part of that, two years ago, he organized the world competition in Yogasana in which more than 60 to 80 nations participated. That is his next mission. Every time when he discusses his ideas and visions and missions, we are spellbound and we are not aware as to how it would cover the entire world and it becomes a global phenomenon just as Guruji has become a global phenomenon in the field of yoga. Secondly, as we have been observing, he has been encouraging the young students and the faculty to come forward to take the leadership and this leadership should come from within, not trusted, not forced, from within. And Yasvasa Yoga Dintu University is one of such universities in the world, like Harvard, uh, you know, Business School, Kellogg Institute of Management, London School of Economics, or IIMs in India or elsewhere, to develop the next generation leaders, which we are seeing now in our Honorable Vice Chancellor. Sharmaji, who has been associated with Guruji for more than three decades, and Raghuramji and others. So as we 
start celebrating the Vikasita Bharat, the theme of this year's independence, 70th year of India's independence. As the very word denotes, it's a Sanskrit word. Vikasita means blossomed. Bharata means the India. It has two encodiums. Bharata, as the very word suggests, was ruled by sage Bharata and his hundred sons according to Vishnu Purana. The second meaning of Bharata, and also it is also said that the son of Dushanta Shakuntala, the legendary uh, mythological figures of the Mahabharata, ruled this country, therefore it became Bharata. Another interpretation of Bharata is, as the very word Sanskrit denotes, Bha means to shine, shining with knowledge. Rataha means engage. This is the country where all the people, the young and the old, are engaged and engrossed in gaining knowledge and expanding that knowledge and giving this knowledge to the world and become in the Vishwaguru as envisioned and being uh, you know, implemented by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. On earlier occasions, we found in the last 65 years, there were only rolling plans, there were only five-year plans, or there were interim plans for the development of the country to become self-reliant, dependent, and prosperous. But first time our Prime Minister has envisioned the Vikasita Bharata in 2047 to become India to emerge as the global capital in economics, in spirituality. Unless it is founded upon the foundations of truth, satya, righteousness, dharma, nyaya, justice, cosmic order, rita, as, as elaborated from the times of the Vedic people, from the sages of India, down to the 8th century CE, before the uh, invasion of the foreign invaders, this was a country was shining and it was always globally known worldwide. So this Bharata to become a blossom one as elaborated by all of our speakers here including our honorable uh, uh, chief guest Professor S.S. Minhaji each has to play a significant role. Each of us have a great role to play especially the younger generation who are present here who forms the 69 crore of the India's 140 crore population, which is as the demographer suggests, it becomes 175 crore by 2047. When you people are going to head this country, you people are going to make the policies of the country. Hence I call upon to, uh, some of you to take up the civil services examination, to come out with flying colors in the IAS, IPS, IFS, IAS, IES, and so on, so that you become the bureaucrats with sincerity, honesty, transparency, and with dedication, devotion, and determination, you would lead the world. So, with the foundation of our everlasting values and based on the foundations of yoga and the five levels of consciousness developed by our Guruji from the matter-based to consciousness-based approach of physical, mental, emotional, intellectual, spiritual dimensions of personality. I am sure each one of you will emerge as leaders. Leaders not only for India, but for the whole world, which was envisioned by Will Durant, where in 1950, in his book, The Story of the World Civilizations, which he said that India would emerge the political, not the political leader, but the leader spiritually at the turn of the century. As we uh, end up with the first quarter of the 21st century, I am sure this vision, what, uh, you know, planned and what wrote by Will Durant has become a reality thanks to the Prime Minister and his entire team of making India highly reliable, 
dependent and confident, prosperous, more important, indigenous and avoiding the fossil fuels and going for alternate technologies and self indigenous technologies including the different services. I am sure India would emerge as the global leader by 2027 and each of us have to play a big role. You as youngsters of this country being trained by the great visionaries of S. Vyasa founded by our honorable uh, Chancellor Dr. Nagendra Guruji and his beloved sister who sacrificed everything could have had a wonderful plum position in uh, London but came back and started this great mission and has been successful and with this I offer other hands to the founders of the uh, SVSA Yoga Deemed to be University and also to the leaders and the senior officials of this university working selflessly and as the well, you know on the model of the very embodiment of the seva the sacrifice by uh, you know which is uh, represented by our honorable chancellor dr h r nagendra ji namaskar dhanyawad Thank you, sir. As we continue our celebration of the spirit of our nation, we are about to witness a performance that beautifully combines art and patriotism. Dance has always been a part, powerful expression of our culture and values. And now, one of our students will bring to life the pride and love we all hold for our country.
thank you very much. I now invite Padma Shri Dr. H.R. Nagendra Ji, Honorable Chancellor of Svyasa, to enlighten us the significance of the Independence Day. <coughs> Namur Shri Ati Rajaya Vivekananda Suraya Satchit Sukhaswarupaya Swami ne ta pahari ne ta pahari ne My dear brothers and sisters, on this very auspicious occasion, we remember that Swami Vivekananda in 1893, he gave the wonderful speech in the Parliament of Religions that we have to bring peace on earth, harmony, love, affection, and work as one single family. And our Honorable Prime Minister, another Narendra, who came, became the chairman of the G20 last year, he gave the same vision for G20. I was wondering what message that he will give. <coughs> Naturally, he gave the same vision. We all in this earth should be one big family. And how can this happen? When bring sattva within us. We are all made up of three gunas, as all of us aware, tamas, rajas and sattva. And we have grown from tamas to rajas in the world. And the next step is to go towards sattva. And therefore, he gave the formula, be and make. No? What is that, be and make? We have to raise from our normal thomasic level to become rajasic level, then to sattva level, and even go beyond the gunas. No? And what characterizes this sattva is love, prilbhava, and thyaga. And therefore, he said, renunciation, culture, are the twin ideals of India, Tyaga and Seva. Tyaga is to give and give and give without expecting any return. That is the Prama Bhava. Seva, to look at everybody as the divine manifestation and do our service to the people. And it is on this basis, the because Bharat has to take shape and rightly our Honorable Prime Minister brought this dimension through his chairmanship at the G20. And this is what Swami Vivekananda had told and he had given a, the clear direction as to how we have to go further. He said, we are growing wonderfully and we have to bring all the wonderful wisdom base that the Western world has given us in the form of science and technology and research. He said, combine the best of the West with the best of the East West of the West has shattered our thamas and brought us to the logistic level. And the Eastern wisdom base has to bring the sattva within us, the greatness with which we all have to grow, to work as one single family. Otherwise, what has happened in the United States has become economic superpower, it has become defense superpower, and there is the aspect of hankara, no? rajas has started mounting up in a big way. Yattu kamepsana karma, sahankarena vapunaha, kriyate bahulaya, samtad raja sabudahurtam, as Krishna Bhagavan has told. If you go the Rajasik way, yes, it is the next step from tamas to rajas. But that can bring tremendous amount of stress. This is what we are seeing. In spite of all the wonderful wealth and the prosperity and the wonderful defense, Dimension that the United States and many of the European countries have grown what is happening today. You know? Stress has started mounting up with such exponential growth. You know? And stress has spread into all aspects of life. And the health hazards, the educational deterioration, everything is on the ascent. You know? It was such a shameful thing to see how even stealing 
has been made as a legality in San Francisco. Last time when we went there, the Supreme Majlis we really felt crying to see how the Charwaka philosophy has been implemented there. And we can have nine hundred dollars. You can go and steal. Is this the things that we do? That the dimension of religious and dimension we have to change. Therefore, a time has come that a new direction has to be given to the world at large, and that is what Swami Vivekananda had given, and our Narendra Modi ji has been giving to the world at large with his brilliant speeches and showing such love, compassion, and harmony. Everywhere, wherever he goes, he spreads this wonderful message. How it has come? So we can understand. Has given the direction. That is yoga. Yoga is the science of holistic living to rise from our normal level to become great, super divine human beings and reach the highest level. As Rama Ramji said, we have to reach the ultimate freedom. The Vikasit Bharat means you have to rise to the highest level of moksha. That the Kaivalya as Patanjali said. And what is that moksha? State of infinite knowledge, infinite power, infinite freedom, infinite bliss. That's what we all are. Therefore, Swamiji said, each soul is potentially divine. Each one of us have that tremendous amount of knowledge, power, freedom, and bliss. And the goal of life is to manifest that divinity. You can take up Jnana Yoga, or Raj Yoga, or Bhakti Yoga, or Karma Yoga, and you can choose one, two, three, all of these, and be free. But Sri Aurobindo said. Now the challenges are multi-faceted. One will not do. You have to use all these things. He said we have to bring integral yoga, and we have to combine to work at the intellectual level, the power of willpower level, with the emotional level, and also in the work level. We have to bring all these things to the forefront, and that's what we have been using here in this to bring the dimensions of total personality change. So what all we are doing here is all based on what Swami Vivekananda had given us the direction, and that's what Narendra Modi was also fascinated when he came here in 1980 and 83. He inaugurated our reception here, and since then he has been closely associated with this movement because he is also a great bhakta of Swami Vivekananda Ram Krishna Paramahansa, who follows this dimension as to how we have to bring. Therefore, we all have to grow towards because it's Bharat to see that we change. How can this happen? When we change, the world will change, and that is the direction that yoga gives us. With that, we have been slowly and gradually developing this university to the higher education. I remember in our early things with Eknaji Ranade in Vyakaranda Kendra, we started bringing this yoga dimension at the school level. In Arunachal Pradesh, we went. That was at the lowest level of evolution, and working there for nearly 30 years, the whole Arunachal Pradesh, North East, had been transformed in the school education, bringing the message of Swami Vivekananda: education is the manifestation of perfection already in man, and that can happen by total personality development. We evolved systematically, scientifically, established on the physical, mental, emotional, and The intellectual level development, civic sense, patriotism, service search, and the spiritual quest has all to be brought in the education system. We develop the modules, which recently ICT has been able to help us to develop a Soyam module. It is all available today in the Soyam platform, and that is the one that can bring. And this is the one that we have been able to show that the entire. Community of Arunachal Pradesh, North East, they have been able to blossom like wonderful children of the most needed Bharat. That's how education. Then Eknaji Ranade, who headed the Shri Ramakrishna Kendra movement, said, "You have to go to the higher education. In higher education, we have to bring the same dimension." Professor N V C Swami and various other people have joined together to form a new syllabus all together in a higher education. In entire higher education system, if you look at it's all the Western modes that we have taken. Whether it's engineering or medicine or psychology or anything, we have just copied what the West has given us. There was a need to completely bring in this Indian knowledge base to the whole thing. Therefore, we sat for three to four years, developed new syllabus, new approach to the entire health education system. Not only health, but the entire higher education system itself. I place and record the great contribution of Professor Subramanian Ji, 
Professor N.V.C. Swami, Professor M.K. Sridhar, and Professor our Manjanath Sharma, and all these people who worked incessantly to bring this and make this a wonderful new syllabus altogether. And that's how we have been able to bring this university set into the five applications of yoga. Division of yoga, spirituality, division of yoga, life sciences, physical sciences, management studies, and humanities. Over the last 20 years, 22 years, we have been able to continuously develop the first two, the spirituality and the dimensions of life sciences. Therefore, there is a need that we have to expand it further to all the other three divisions also. And thanks to the leadership of our new Vice Chancellor, Dr. Manjirat Sharma, we expanded that into the physical sciences, into management studies and humanities by setting up a new campus altogether. And management, we have the UG, PG and PhD program that is being started now. And in the physical sciences, we have engineering and the software that in the order of the day has started coming up. And in the humanities, we have sports and music, dance, drama, and fine arts. All these things have come. UG, PG, and that PhD programs are being started. Many people used to ask, how can you do anything with yoga related to the engineering, software, or the management studies? It's here that Swami Vivekananda has again given a clear indication as to how we have to take this. First, we have been seeing over the last 20 years in our conversion and then research that the software experts, the management experts, engineering experts are all getting burnt up in the entire process. And heart attacks have become so common from 60 years and 65 years. Now, Dr. Devi Shetty says, now people have come at the age of 20, 25 for the heart attacks. What a shame. No? Similarly, stress has started mounting. Diabetes in our pan-India research studies on diabetes have shown it has doubled. It used to be 4 to 5 percent in rural areas, it has gone to 8 to 9 percent. In urban areas, it used to be 8 to 9 percent, it has gone up to 9 to 10, 20, 19 to 20 percent. Doubled. Imagine the burden. 75 percent of our population being rural area. What is the tremendous economic burden of the country about the diabetes? and hypertension, I don't have to talk, and see that the whole NCDs have started mounting up tremendously. With all the achievements of modern medical system, allopathy, what has happened, we have not been able to give cure to these things. Once a diabetic, ever a diabetic. Once you have hypertension, it's for life. Once you have NCD, you have no further chance of total normalization. Once you have cancer, your days have come numbered, have come to pass. What is the way? Why this has happened? because we have looked at the entire world as a matter-based paradigm. Everything is made out of matter, matter. Atoms, molecules, protons, neutrons, fundamental particles, and energy, and the laws covering them, classical mechanics and quantum mechanics. But a time has come that we have to go beyond to understand that the subtler and the causal dimension of this universe, that is, what is this prana, pranamaya, manomaya, vignana, anandamaya, kosha, had to be brought forth, and the whole of the sensories do not start in the Annamay Kosha, but start in the Manomay Kosha, has been the great vision that Yoga Vasita has given and the Yoga Shastra has given us. Therefore, unless you remove the root cause of the sensories as the Adhi, you cannot deal with Avyadhi at all. Therefore, it is this that we have brought forth, thanks to Dr. Nagaratna and our entire team of the Arogadham, that is, we call it as a Vashi, Vashita School of Health Integration. We have named it in the name of the Vashita, who brought this entire knowledge base. We are bringing out, and through modern scientific research, which are published, all the number of research papers, we have been able to show that, yes, if you take up this integrated system, the I am, you will be able to bring new dimension. And it is this direction that we have taken up, as mentioned by our Honorable Chief Guest and also our VC and others. It is this integration that we have to bring, combining the best of the West with the best of the East. And that's what we are doing by bringing this thing. Thanks to Dr. B. N. Gangadhar, the director of Nimhans, we have been able to bring the CCIM, that is the Certificate Course in Integrative Medicine, a six-month online program to all the doctors of allopathic system and other doctors to learn the integration that is needed. 
and it's the third batch going on of the first batch 30, second batch 30, third batch 90. Doctors have joined from all over the world and it is going on so wonderfully well. Then Gangadhar said it's not enough. We have to bring MD into integrative medicine. And Nimhas is essentially the mind and the mental thing, therefore he has brought MD integrative medicine in mental thing. Recently I was in Ames, Rishikesh, and director says now we will bring integrative medicine in all aspects. And this is how the world is growing and in the planning commission we have been promoting this integrative medicine and we want to set up here also a completely total integrative medicine. We are conducting this MD over the last 10 years, bringing this all principles of integrative medicine to the doctors and integrative medicine has to be approved in the world at large. Uh, particularly in India, we have to bring this. Therefore, in the planning commission, we have been trying to bring this and integrative medicine is going to come up soon. Therefore, this is one dimension which is added on into our physical sciences, management studies and humanities to prevent the burnouts. Secondly, when we, de when we have different entities, how to combat that? And the more important is to build the skills that are necessary. And we have developed the skill development through the integrated yoga modules which are going to incorporate in the syllabus of the complete engineering, management, software and allied sciences which we are bringing about in the new campus. And we are very happy that Kadabams also have joined which have been working wonderful work in dealing with the mental challenges that we face. And it's spreading so vast and they have come forward to see that we collaborate with Esfiasa and develop. All these new developments have taken place in this year. It's a very auspicious day when we are celebrating Independence Day. On this day, I place and record great contributions of our new Vice Chancellor for making this possible and see that we grow in all divisions, not only division of yoga spirituality, division of life sciences, but also in the field of the physical sciences, then humanities, and also the management studies. We have brought the best of the management experts, best of the engineers of the country to lead and give the right direction to the whole thing. So Jainagar has been doing a wonderful thing. He has three PhDs, management, software, and others who is leading this entire dimension, expanding the vision. And India has to give its new dimension in all these fields to the world at large. What is happening is, Whatever develops in Cambridge University or Harvard or Massachusetts, we are taking it in engineering, in software, in management. But now India has to contribute. People should take the new dimension that we are bringing out to the people at large. And that is the new direction that the Eswasa University is coming up. And on this very auspicious day, I place on record the contributions of all the faculty and the new faculty who have joined and the researchers who have been doing this wonderful work to make this university a very unique university and we want to expand it to various things. And we are very fortunate today, we got the message from Himachal Pradesh and the most vice chancellor, the surgeon has been able to bring this dimension of integration to this thing. We are very happy that we can also join hands with them and spread this message to all other universities also, which AICT and other things want. Also, our B.N. Gangadhar, who has become the chairman of the National Medical Council, has been trying to promote this integrative medicine throughout the country. And that's the direction that India is taking. Therefore, in the Vikasit Bharat, we are moving in the right direction under the direction of our Honourable Prime Minister. And on this very auspicious day, we all have to take a oath. <coughs> what? <coughs> Be and make. We all have to change towards the sattva. Moving and shattering our tamas, controlling our rajas, and developing our sattva, and even go beyond the gunas. And then only Vikasit Bharat can take place to reach all of us to the highest heights. It is not merely the wealth that we want. We want wealth, health, prosperity on one side. But we want to have happiness, bliss, and freedom on all fronts. And that's the great Indian knowledge base that we have, whether it's in Patna Yoga Sutra, or in Yoga Vasishta, or in Bhagavad Gita, or all the various texts of yoga, 
And to bring this possible, to bring new dimensions of diagnosis, we have started Varaha Mira, Advanced Center for Vedic Technology Research. Can we diagnose things even 20 years before? As soon as we or born, can we find out what are all the possibilities that can happen, whether I'm going to get cancer, whether I'm going to get diabetes, when I'm going to get all these things can be done, and in the shut darshan or these are available, this is a new diagnostic dimension that are going to come up through Varahavihara's great knowledge base. I've written beautiful big books, and we have to unravel the mysteries that he has given in mathematics, astronomy, and astrology, and that can bring us new direction to diagnostic world and also to deal with the entire NCDs in a very comprehensive way, in an integral way. With this, I congratulate all of you for coming today and being in this wonderful Independence Day, our 78th Independence Day, and we will all be trying to move slowly, gradually, systematically, step by step towards our sattva and beyond. Namaskar, dhanyavad. I can see that, Sri Guru Pyonamha. On behalf of the entire campus of Yasvyasa, the students, the staff, and the faculty members, Guruji, on this very auspicious day of the Vikasit Bharat and also the foundation, Founders' Day of Yasvyasa, we collectively offer our pranams to you and all the founding members of this great institution. I remember very quickly the definition which was given to us when we were kids. Bharat, Bhava, Bharata, Bhava, Raga and Tala. Only when we mix all these three in a beautiful proportion can we enjoy. And then today in this one and a half hours we are sitting here, we have gained so many Bhavas, so many the thoughts of patriotism, thoughts, ennobling thoughts were all given by these so many elders here. Bhavam was created in us. And Raga and Tala, our students beautifully blended all of these things to give us such a beautiful experience to all of us. We thank one and all for this blending of Beautifully, the noble thoughts which are Vikasit Bharat, the slowly blossoming of the Yasvyasa was seen, the Guruji has given a beautiful story how it is evolved. Our uh, Vice Chancellor gave us a beautiful welcome and then kick started that process of blossoming, the Vikasita was actually seen and then we had our uh, the chief guest, Dr. S. S. Minhas, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Maharshi Markandeya University, beautifully gave how the fragrance can spread to everybody else and what is our role in that. And then all the other elders, the Raghuram ji, our um, Shridhar ji, and then our Subramanian ji have beautifully enriched these thoughts in their own inimitable way. We thank all the elders who have given such beautiful thoughts for us so that we become a blossomed students and faculty members. And then you, the students, are the ones for which this function is every year celebrated because you are the future of India. All the people are mentioning this, we will become a developed nation, we will, we will be like, we, will, we are already developing in very, very fast manner. But then it is your future is what actually is aimed at. Because we want, if the India has to be developed, it is the students who will make or mark the future of India. So we thank all of you and the teachers and the students of faculty of all the five institutions, the three schools, the Sushruta Ayurveda Medical College and then Sushruta Nursing College and the School of Yoga, School of Naturopathy, School of Physiotherapy, all of us, when we come together, that Bhava, Raga and Thala gets beautifully mixed and then we have such a beautiful function. Without taking much time, once again, we all place our collective pranams on this Founders Day of Vyasa to our revered Guruji and all the founding members of 
yes we are sir and all these elders and all the principals and all the staff and the teachers who have made this function a great success let's all enjoy the blossoming of personality guruji beautifully stressed that fact tyaga and um, seva and tyaga are the root cause for this blossoming be and make of vivekananda so let us all be first be and then make the nation thank you i now request all the dignitaries and all the students to rise for vande mataram ಸುಖದಾ ಮರದಾ 